Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Scrap here. Today, I got a video for you guys, pretty much explaining uh, the past month and a half for basically since the end of the 2024 season. So yeah, we're gonna take it right back to like pretty much after champs. So we placed third at champs. We were feeling good going to EWC. Um, really no plans on like roster changes um, at that point. And then we're just scrimming going to EWC. EWC happens, we're playing good the first two days. And uh, due to the single uh, Elam bracket, we lose first round of uh, Thieves, pretty much ending our whole season just like that. Top eight at EWC, not what we wanted at all. And honestly, probably if we beat them, we're probably in finals, but you know, that's just hindsight at this point. We, we lose EWC which was i think big for not only the team but just like the org in general because they could have made a lot of money uh, with like the the global standings or the the club championship i think it was called so yeah that was probably the worst outcome that could have happened for us as a team after that you know i've been i was told right uh right when we lost ewc probably the day after i woke up and i was on a call and they said can't really afford you guys we're gonna let you go explore that's basically what i was told i asked them is there any way we could play together and basically it was like a yes but unrealistic yes for everyone so it was a no basically and so that meant what's next for me what next for you know my career if it couldn't be on toronto then you know where is it gonna be and that's when i started hitting up people trying to see what's available i'm not gonna let you guys know who i hit up or, or what happened or every team i hit up so then i just needed to know what was right for me or like what i could do um so i went explored hitting up people seeing what was what and uh i hit a paco i knew i wanted to play with him because i knew he had a free team or not a free team but i knew i could probably end up playing with him uh because they got second phase and optic aren't gonna make changes because they won champs in the big the two end of the biggest tournaments i had a paco trying to see what was going on and it was looking like cloud nine until it wasn't then it was looking like thieves and then it was looking like gentle mates and then it was looking like thieves Sorry, we hear my dogs barking in the background. They're just barking at everything right now. For the first like month of the off season, no bullshit. I walked in circles of my house, of my girlfriend's house for literally two weeks straight, hearing the same shit for two weeks. It was just like, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. So there was literally nothing going on for like two weeks. So like everyone's saying the off season was slow. It was slow like for me as well, bro. I was stressing, I was waiting. I'm like, bro, what is going on? Yeah, that happens. And then it comes maybe down to like maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Everything started like moving on. And like, like I finally got um, where I wanted to be with, you know, organizations. I mean, it's already out there that General Mates uh, gave us an offer that, you know, was a, a really good offer and it was really hard for us to refuse. And then we kind of let Thieves come back with an offer and then see what they could do. And we ended up going with Thieves because honestly, we just thought that Thieves had a better ground foot in COD. Uh, we knew that General Mates was like a super big team, but I think when it comes to like overall, just like COD and just everything that I was looking for and I think that we were looking for uh, was Thieves. And I think we made a really good choice, to be honest. I think it's probably the best the best outcome that could have happened for my offseason happened. You know, I got a, a team that I want to play with, uh, a good organization that I want to be on and just everything around it that I'm excited to play for the, for the next like two years. So it's going to be a fun one for sure. I'm excited to play. You know, we got Dan. Paco, Dill. I mean, I play with Dill. I know what he brings to a team. You know, it's more than just like in-game stats. If you guys look at it, I know like I've seen shit about Dill, but there's more than just stats to a player. And Dill had a little stint last year where he wasn't, where he wasn't like meshing in like HP, but like, bro, he brought that, brought that around in the end of the season. And he was probably our best player going into champs or probably at champs. So I wanted to play with Dill. I brought Dill with me. And then obviously Paco. I don't even need to say anything about Paco. The kid's gross. Not only at COD, but I found out just literally any video game he touches, he's got like at. So uh, I'm excited to play with him. And then we got Dan. Dan, I'm not gonna lie, surprised me these past two years. I knew Dan um, since before like the pro scene. Like he was in challengers and shit. So I knew Dan before then. And let me say, I wasn't a big fan of Dan back then. But you know, he's changed my mind. He's a good player, and I and I can't wait to play with Dan. You know the intangibles he brings. You know like calm, just IGL. For how young he is, I'm definitely not an IGI. I just run around and just shit on kids. That's my plan. So I'm excited to have Dan. I'm excited to have all the boys uh, on board, especially with Shane and, and Troy as our coaches. Um, I just think overall, they just bring, you know, just good game sense, IQ, uh, two players. And personally, that's who I like being coached by is like people who played the game, people that understand like the the player mindset. You know what I mean? And uh, just like just the player ups and downs like of COD. Like you're going to go through stints where you're just dog shit. You're going to go through sense where like you're just not like meshing as a team. You're not like winning games. It's just how it is. It's just how anything is in general. So I'm excited to have them on board. And then I got this this brain dead map, bro. Like I've never had like I've only had one other owner, but you know, the owner of the org just like being there, just like being invested and just, you know, actually wanting us to win and, and trying to have what's best for the uh, team is honestly just like a blessing. And uh, shout out to Nate Shot because he made all this happen. Honestly, without Nate, this shit wasn't getting done. 
um and we were probably gonna go play on gentle mates but uh yeah man that was like uh you know the last like pretty much month like wrapped up in like five minutes because honestly that's all it was bro that's all it was that like this five minutes of explaining happened across like a month bro my dogs keep barking hold on bro hold on all right sorry about that i'm excited for the next you know two years it's gonna be fun and hey at the end of these two years if we win in just know i'm re-signing that shit and we back on thieves all right in two years we back on thieves so don't think anything of it if we win in and shit and shit's going our way we re-signing that bitch and we staying here all right that's how it's gonna go yeah i appreciate all uh the support bro the the announcement honestly was insane and just like everything dropping um i'm excited just like my heart's through the roof just thinking about it i'm um, shout out all the thieves fans it's gonna be a good year um i appreciate ultra though for the last like three years it was fun while it lasted. Uh, shout out Jamie, Toby, Ryan, Joe, Charlie. Those are my fucking guys. I love those guys to the death. They're my brothers. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to be on Thieves. I got some merch already. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all because I don't have that much merch. I'll show you guys one of my favorites. Stop barking, motherfuckers. Damn. This one of my favorites right here. You guys want to go shop at 100 Thieves. Kodak, pop it up on the screen. Find the Kodak, Kodak, find the 100 Thieves uh website apparel website and a link it right here and make these guys buy some so i appreciate them tuning into the video i appreciate them tuning in on the streams lately um i'm live almost every day in the uh, in the season but for the next month i might be like on and off for the net like on and off so tune in i might be live uh but if not drop a follow and i'll be live eventually see you guys in the next one let's go la baby let's get it well 100 t uh put a leash on scrap no no Absolutely not, bro. The the crazier and more fucked up that guy is, the better. That's how I see it. We need personality in esports, man. I'm praying for personalities. I want personalities. <laughs> like so, I'm I'm gonna give that motherfucker the green. He, he don't need a green light or a red light. He just needs to be himself. Whatever he wants. Honestly, scrap pulls up on stage. Black tar heroin in his system. Turn me up. I'll fucking take the needle with him. Now nah, that's insane. Too early for that. Oh, I don't have my glasses on, bro. Oh, oh, wait, I do. <laughs> nah, 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 yo, we. <laughs> I think I'm drunk off one beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god, I gotta turn the camera off. That's insane. Nah, that's. <laughs> Champions, gentlemen. You're like, oh, Superstar TV. That's one. Started off right. <laughs> hey.